Hello. So we have just seen how analog multipliers can be used for uh, modulating schemes, AM modulation, both uh, double sideband with carrier and suppressed carrier modulation. And here we have a circuit that can implement either one, either one of those two schemes. And so notice that the first stage to the circuit consists of an inverting summing amplifier. And then there is the multiplier, which is performing the modulation. And notice that there is a switch uh, that can be connected in either one of two positions. Uh, the first position is to add a, um, a DC offset to our modulating signal, so it will be for AM modulation. And the second position that is labeled balanced, uh, it basically connects that input to ground. So on the inverting side, I have my modulating signal or the negative of my modulating signal, which is going to be minus VCP times sine of 2 pi FM times T. On the other side, I have uh, just a, a DC offset in the case of the AM, otherwise it's just connected to ground, which is equal to uh, VCP. Sorry, this is VMP on top. This is my modulating signal, not my carrier signal. Um, and I've just equated the DC offset as we did in the previous example to um, uh, negative the peak value of the carrier signal. And then uh, that all gets fed through a summing amplifier with equal weights of one on each input. It's going to be 10 over 10. And so what I get out here is going to be essentially uh, negative, uh, negative, negative, make a plus. So I'm already going to put positive. So I get, in the case of balance modulation, I will just get uh, VMP times the sine of 2 pi FM times T. In the case of AM modulation, I will get that plus VCP. And then on the other side, I get VC, which is equal to VCP sine of 2 pi FC carrier frequency times T. And those get multiplied, and uh, so they come out at the output. The output is going to be equal to the product of those two signals times a constant. Uh, I've tried to provide a graphical representation of what the signals look like in the different, uh, under the different circumstances. So the first signal there, this uh, slow varying sinusoid, is my modulating signal, my information signal. Uh, then I have a, a carrier signal, which is supposed to be, according to the previous example, uh, Vm will be equal to uh, 5 times the sine of uh, 2 pi 1000 T and so amplitude 5 volts, frequency 1 kilohertz. My carrier signal according to the previous example will be equal to 5 times the sine of 2 pi 10,000 T. So this ideally will be a signal of 10 times the frequency of the previous signal even though this is obviously uh, not very well drawn to scale. And then I have the V out representing the result of both AM modulation and balance modulation. And so notice that in both cases, my carrier signal gets modulated. Notice that the one that follows uh, the envelope or that it's enveloped by the modulating signal is the one in balance modulation. It is the one that um, as my modulating signal uh, reaches its maximum voltage or minimum voltage uh, the balanced output is the one that reaches a maximum in the envelope at those points, the, the peak maximum and the peak minimum. And then the AM modulation uh, you know, is, is also similar. It is a modulating scheme, but not exactly the same as the balance case. So this was just to illustrate a sample circuit that could be um, implemented to select between either one of those two modulation schemes. Thank you.